Thanks. Our reporter uh, Lisa Oligas has been covering this story uh, really from the beginning, and uh, right now she's at 7th and Range Line. She's on the phone, and we're going to go to her now. Lisa, can you hear me? Oh, not on the phone. We have a live. Dow, I'm live at 7th and Range Line. They have blocked off the intersection so that emergency vehicles can pass through. Just moments ago, three more ambulances came by, along with a task force van and trailer. And I know that all kinds of emergency personnel are arriving here in Joplin from near and far. Now, we are not close to the damage at the moment because it is very difficult to get down there. And we were there earlier. We have some video that we can show of the damage primary area hit very, very hard. It's between 15th Street to 20th Street on Range Line. There is the Payless Shoe Store was obliterated and they were searching desperately for two women believed trapped inside. They never did find them when I was still there, checking back around 930. And then you go across the street. Walmart was damaged. There were people trapped inside at one point. The Home Depot was demolished and flattened along with the Pizza Hut and other restaurants. Long John Silver uh, an AT&T store, all those stores disappeared, basically. They were create, crushed into rubble. There were residents behind the Range Line Road to the west that were also destroyed. One or two left standing, but most demolished. You can see that trees were sheared off by this tornado, which seemed to stretch at least a one and a half to two mile path anywhere from 10th Street all the way down to 32nd. In trying to get to Range Line, I was on 32nd Street, had to get onto the highway on 249 to come back around, and I saw tractor trailers flipped over um, a truck stop with many, many destroyed vehicles crushed. Unfortunately, there were a lot of information gazers around, those who are trying to be onlookers, and it's unfortunate because there are emergency crews coming from far away, all trying to help those hurt and in the search and rescue mission. It is dark now, which makes it more difficult for all those working to try and help those in need. We know there are people displaced. There were buses brought in to take folks to the Leggett and Platt Center as an emergency shelter. We know there are other shelters set up as well. Power is out along much of Range Line and they do have sheriff's deputies and other personnel trying to prevent anyone who's not an emergency official from getting into the area, which is the situation right now. We do know that we believe that there are fatalities. There were folks I talked to at Pizza Hut who uh, told me that they survived by going into their cooler and some of their friends didn't make it because the cooler disappeared and these two young people we talked to were spared. It's an unfortunate day here in Joplin. A big part of the business district on Range Line is destroyed, and there are lots of people coming to the aid of others, but it is still a very dire situation. People are asked not to come to this area, and I know that Lynn Onstadt, uh, the PIO for the city, did tell me that they were calling out all city employees to report for duty at the Public Works Department and trying to get them to the scene to help. Reporting live from Joplin, Lisa Ali is now back to you in the studio. All right, Lisa Oligas, thank you. We're, we're getting some information now on some addresses of some emergency shelters. We're going to have that and more for you when our tornado coverage continues right after this.